Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Kirsten and I am currently a mum of one, soon to be a mum of two little girls. I am due quite soon. In today's video, I thought I would do SJ Strum's baby name tag for 2019. I haven't done a baby name tag video on my channel before and I sort of waited until I was expecting again to do these kinds of videos. So I thought I would give it a go. I have the questions on my phone. I haven't really looked at them. I went and found them and screenshotted them and that's about it. So yeah, let's get into them. Okay, so number one, if you had a baby tomorrow, what would you call them, boy, girl? As I am quite heavily pregnant at the moment, uh, having a baby tomorrow isn't necessarily something that might not happen. Um, that could actually happen because I am heavily pregnant at the moment. I am almost eight months pregnant. Um, so I think if I answer that question, it sort of gives away names that we are potentially looking to use for our child. So I might leave that one. Number two is what would you rename yourself keeping your same first initial? Okay, so my name is Kirsten. It begins with a K. Um, I think I would definitely go for something that has standardized spelling. So maybe like Kate, maybe would be something I would be leaning towards. I did think like Catherine is quite classic, but Catherine is traditionally spelt with a C, so I wouldn't want to always be I'm Catherine with a K. So I'm going to go with Kate. I think that's pretty, pretty simple. Can't spell it wrong, which I currently have with my current name. So yeah, Kate. Number three is what would you have been called or wished to be called if you had been born the opposite gender? Um, I really don't know. I don't think I really asked my parents what they thought about calling me if they were going to call me like if I was a boy, if that makes sense. And what I would like to be called. I really don't know. I've not really thought about it and I think it's becoming very clear that I probably should have read these questions before I filmed this video. Um, I think I like classic names so I like names like George and Louis and really simple classic names so maybe something along those lines like George perhaps maybe if I was if I were a boy. Number four is favorite vintage names for a boy and a girl. Um, I really like Florence for a girl, Violet for a girl. They're kind of the older names. I really like Sadie for a girl. So they're probably in that category of favorite names, vintage names for a girl. For a boy, I quite like... Oh, I really like Samuel and I don't know if Samson is considered a, a vintage name. I think it is, but I think it's actually becoming more popular now. I think people think it's quite a new name because it's, I guess, being rejuvenated. But yeah, probably like Samson or uh, George, those kinds of vintage names. Number five is favorite nature names for a boy and a girl. I feel like I'm really recycling my girls' names. I really like Viola. I really like Florence. Um, names like Rosalie, actually, another name that I absolutely love, which is a nature name, is Primrose. I think it is beautiful. Well, I would never ever let me use it, but Primrose is just absolutely divine for a boy. Um, I find boy names quite difficult in regards to nature names because I sort of put them in the category of that's quite a nice name but I would never use it kind of thing. So that's names like River and Wren. I really think they're gorgeous names but I just don't think they would suit our family and my husband probably would never agree to let me use those names anyway but those two names, Wren especially, I just think is so something about it that's so soothing and I guess because it's a bird I, I don't know I'm gonna <laughs> gonna cut it there because otherwise I'll keep waffling on about nature names for kids 
Number six is favorite YouTubers name or baby name. So obviously you've met, heard me mention the name Florence quite a bit in this video. So yes, Mrs. Meldrum, uh, or Rebecca Meldrum, um, she has her second daughter's name is Florence. I think it's just very sweet. It definitely suits um, her daughter. The other sort of YouTuber name that I guess I'm really drawn to is Caleb, which is Emily Norris's second son. I think Caleb is just is something really special about it. Um, it's got that like rock star edge. I just, but yeah, it's like simple and classic and clean and quite strong. So, so there are a couple of the YouTuber kids names that I quite like. Number seven is what is your favorite literary name? Um, for a girl, it is Elizabeth, like Elizabeth Bennett from Pride and Prejudice. Um, we actually used Elizabeth as Madison's middle name. Ryan wasn't keen on it for our first name for a number of reasons, but was happy to have it as a middle name. So that is the one we went with. And for boys, names for literary names there's quite a few um i really like um i really like severus severus snape from harry potter i also really like harry as a name and the list kind of goes on but severus is is quite is high up there for literary names especially for boys um but I don't think Ryan, my husband, would ever allow me to name our son Severus. Number nine is what did you want to be called when you were younger? And actually, I have thought about this in the past. And, you know, I guess it's one of those icebreaker questions that people ask you. And I do actually have an answer to this one. So the name that I wanted to be called when I was younger was Jasmine like Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. I think I related to her because she was the only Disney princess at that time when I was younger um, who had um, darker skin, who was a, a female protagonist of colour, I guess you could say. Now, I am aware that I'm obviously quite light skinned, but I'm by no means fully Caucasian. I'm sorry if that's being offensive. Anyway, there weren't many princesses that were darker, of darker skin, and I really related to Jasmine, and I really was drawn to her because of that, and I think I, that's what I wanted my name to be when I was younger. So the last question for this tag is, what is a name that you have or would veto immediately? And for this question, I'm gonna go with Jordan. Before we found out Madison was a girl, we talked about both boys' and girls' names, and I was very, I contributed highly to the list of names that we had that we were putting together for the baby because we didn't know if she was a boy or a girl at that time. And I said to Ryan that I really need you to either stop complaining about the names that I'm wanting to put on the list or contribute some of your own. And one of the names he came up with was Jordan and I just went, not happening sorry it's just i don't know what it is i knew a couple of kids when i went to school who were called jordan maybe that's it it just it didn't sit right with me so i just went no thank you that one's uh, off the list and that might sound really harsh but trust me ryan's knocked off plenty of the names off my list so that's it for this baby names tag video i hope you enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if you've done this video or if you, you know, have any favorite names that you would like to contribute to this tag video, I will leave the questions down in the description box. And if you would like to do this tag, please feel free. Let me know on social media that you've done it by leaving me a comment down below or letting me know on Instagram. That would be great. I would love to watch it. I am, like I said, about to have a baby and any name inspiration is good for me right now. So yeah. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.